morning, Winnicunnet. It's a great day for WHTV. I'm Tyler. What's up? I'm Derek. We got stores for you. Yeah, we do. Now I must stop for a moment and congratulate all of you for completing a full week of school. It's been a while since we had our week without two-hour delays. Oh, it's been one heck of a week. But you know what really gets me going? A whole kettle of Broadwings Hawks over the soccer field in the back. Our own Captain Useless brings us a story on New Hampshire birds. A headline regarding mass awareness of a certain avian variety. What are you talking about? Oh, have you not heard? It was my understanding that everyone had heard. Heard what? Brian, don't! A well a bird, bird, bird. A bird, a word, a well a bird, bird, bird. A bird, a word, a well a bird, bird, bird. Studying the Hampshire bird is one of the more popular electives, I think, at one kind of high school. Why is it popular? I have an unfair advantage over everyone else that I have these wonderful winged creatures that traverse the, gro the globe twice a year. They come in all the colors of the rainbow. They have beautiful sounds, and it's easy to get hooked on birds. Fall birds, it's about diurnal migration, watching these magnificent raptors um, heading south from their destinations in Canada, heading all the way south to Central America and South America. And we really key in on the dynamics of migration in the fall course. Bird myself. I like a lot of birds, but I have to say my favorite happens to be the peregrine falcon. Birds class is the best at when I come in. I know I've learned over 60 bird calls and I might major in birding in college. I just like seeing the birds in their uh, natural habitat. It's just gracious. I see a shark. I've taken a course for the most part have loved it and I see students in the future now they're taking the course 10-15 years ago and they're still birding they're taking the kids birding um, it's just awesome it's just birds are cool that's all there is to it I guess bird truly is the word of the day now for you in the classrooms we have a story about something that has been bothering all of us here at Winnicunnet milk isn't bad for you, it's still milk, it has the nutrition of milk, but chocolate milk has a huge amount of added sugar. So there's been a lot of controversy lately about whether it's something we really should carry in the schools or not, and I just thought at the high school level it was just one thing we could get rid of. Make some changes, you know, what I would consider a negative change. I try to do some positive ones to kind of offset it. And so far this year, I think it's gone pretty smoothly. Didn't replace the milk with anything. What I did was I brought in larger juices because a juice or a milk or a fruit can be taken with a meal. And the juices used to be a small four ounce. So I did get a larger size juice. Frank, for once, is back with his segment, Welcome to the Movies, where he is reviewing the first horror movie of the Halloween season, My Soul. 
take. Welcome audience to the first ever scary movie review on Welcome to the Movies. This week we are looking at My Soul to Take. It's the first scary movie of, Hall of the Halloween season, My Soul to Take, and it's in 3D. It's the first 3D movie of the holiday season. And let's hope the 3D is awesome. I keep seeing trailers for this movie, and I have no idea what this movie is about. So from looking at the trailer, it looks like either Hagrid or Santa Claus is very hungry, and he eats Asians, and then the Asians fall off the bridge. There is a guy, he's a man, he has a knife, he's like, <laughs> and then he's killed by the police, and when he dies, these seven people here, all the souls that he had killed, go into these seven people on that night. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take his revenge. What if his soul went into one of the seven kids who were born the night he died? Now we're getting two word responses to the movie. Sorry, it's really bad. Really bad. It's scary. It's scary. Thought provoking. Thought provoking. It's a very fun movie, a very exciting movie. It keeps you on the edge of your seat for parts of it, and it's very scary. Yet. Some parts get some really good jumps. But the problem with the movie is that the plot gets a little weird. Something about a bird. I mean, Mr. Course would love it, but it's, it's a little weird. So, it's, it's a good movie, and the directing is great. I give it a 8 out of 10. Um, I thought it was a very good movie, but it was very predictable to me. I don't know why, it was just very predictable. I knew what was going to happen. But a very good movie. A lot of scare moments. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Alright, so that's it for this week of Welcome to the Movies. We saw My Soul to Take, but next week's scene, Paranormal Activity 2. Come to see these movies at Vision Max Cinema, because really, sit in those leather seats and see it in Dolby Digital, because it's awesome! You may have noticed some of our people at school being shadowed this week. Shadowed by people from Exeter. <laughs> Mallory Kimball has a scoop on that. Now we have some announcements for the Warriors. This weekend there's going to be a walk for cystic fibrosis. To find out more, our bros are on the scene. All right, that's some awesome, great, cool, awesome, fantastic stuff. <laughs> One more announcement. You need to have your t-shirt forms in by next Friday. Forms are available at C212, and lunch is Thursday and Friday. You need money for prom, and they're great, great shirts, so get ordering. I hope you enjoyed our great show. I want to cut it. Please enjoy our next week's Halloween edition. I am Derek, signing off. Bye, when it cut it. <laughs>